How's it going YouTube? This is TalkF bringing you another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a little tutorial on how to use the Nexus Mod Manager on uh, courtesy of the Nexus Mods website. Um, this is a mod manager that I use to mod various games including the game that we're going to be taking a look at today which is Dragon's Dogma. Um, and uh, the links are right in the description so the first link you're going to click on is the nexusmod.com link um, <clears throat> from here you can uh, find whatever game you would like to uh, find mods for uh, you can also click right here on the nexus network link and just click on the game list and as you can see there's a ton of different games that are supported on this website for modding um, some of them have just a few mods, one, two, three, four, uh, all the way up to thousands of mods for certain games. Um, especially the more popular, easily modded games like Fallout and Skyrim and stuff like that. So, um, let's take a look at Dragon's Dogma, which is uh, a more recent release. Um, <clears throat> and it's right here. Got a little over 200 mods. Alright, so now we're on the Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen Nexus mod page. So on this page, um, you'll be able to find all the mods specific to the game. Alright, now before you can get into downloading and installing any mods, you do have to sign up with Nexus mods. Alright, so to do that, you go to where it says uh, not logged in, click on it, and then scroll down to where it says um, create an account. And click on that alright so it'll bring you to this page account registration page making an account is 100 percent free which is great um, so what you do is you just click on register button here and then it'll take you to um, another page that'll show you what you have to do and you just continue on until you're signed up for the website and you you'll be good to go alright so once you sign up for the site and log in alright let me do that real quick alright so once you do that um, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is download the Nexus mod manager which is right up here so you scroll up you click on install NMM Nexus mod manager and then down here you'll look for your operating system um, and uh, you click on that you download the file once the file is downloaded you click on it to install it and uh, just follow the instructions and you'll be good to go so once you're done installing you get this on your desktop okay so as you can see when I clicked on it it automatically brought up a list of games that I have installed on my computer that support the Nexus mod manager now when you first start this up you may see this screen here okay so this screen is going to search your computer and uh, find all the games that you have installed in your hard drive that is are supported by the Nexus mod manager alright so to make this a little quicker you can just kind of look through the list see the games that you don't have and just click the little red X and if it's a game that you do have installed in your computer just click the little green check mark alright so we'll go through this real quick um, alright get rid of all this as you can see it's a pretty good list of games that are fully supported by the Nexus mod manager so it's pretty awesome alright so once you're done with that you click OK and then again this screen pops up so we're gonna take a look at Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen okay so once you click on the game this is the screen that you'll have alright so um, of course when you first install there won't be anything um, on this little uh, window up here but I do have one mod installed that's a Granzis texture improvement mod uh, project <clears throat> and we'll take a look at that on the website as well um, so once you get to this page uh, you can go back to the site click on files and browse files okay so once you click on that you'll have a list of all the available mods for the game um, from here you can uh, use these uh, links on the side to you know kind of uh, condense your search so there's not 
you can focus on the only the uh, specific types of mods you're looking for. What I usually click on under attributes is NMM compatible. Okay, so that means that it's compatible with the Nexus Mod Manager. I just find that the mods that are compatible with the Nexus Mod Manager are just so simple and easy to install. So I highly recommend that if you're new to modding. All right, so once you uh, find something that you're interested in, we'll say the better Hellfire helmet. So we'll click on that. Okay, so once you click on it, you'll be brought to the mod page. All right, and usually in the description, it'll have a little, uh, give you a little idea of what the mod ex is exactly, what it does. It shows you how to install it um, if you don't have the mod manager, um, if you want to do it manually. Uh, you know, the choice is yours. Um, so after reading the description, you click on files, and under files, you'll find the, uh, the uh, mod files. Okay, so once you have the Nexus Mod Manager installed, you click on the Download with Manager link. It'll automatically pop up here on the Mod Manager, on this window down here. Okay. Once it's finished installing, the file will show up on uh, your Mod window up here. Okay. So we got the Better uh, Hellfire Helmet Mod. Then you click on the little green arrow to install the mod. You can also double click um, on the the little on the mod itself in the window. Um, <clears throat> so now the mod is installed in your game. So when you start up your game, you'll be able to see whatever mod you have installed. Now let's say if you want to uninstall the mod, I guess you maybe if you're tired of it or or if it conflicts with another mod you're trying to download, you can just double click it or you can click the little uh, red circle there, and boom, that uninstalls the mod. Okay, and if you're completely 100% done with the mod, you want to get rid of it, you just click on it, right click, uninstall or delete, and delete mod permanently and uninstall. Yes. And there you have it, mod is gone. Alright, and it's as simple as that. Um, the other uh, few things that you want to be aware of um, is uh, keeping your mods up to date. You definitely want to do that. So there's a little uh, button right here on the left side of the mod manager. You can go ahead and click on that, and it'll automatically search all your mods and find let you know if there are any updates. If there are, a uh, little icon will show up right next to the mod version to let you know that there's an update. And if there is, all you have to do is click on the mod version link. It'll bring you right to the mods page automatically. Um, and then from here, you go to uh, Files. All right, and then you would uh, download wherever the update is located, if it's in the main files or somewhere else. Um, then you just download it, and once it's downloaded, um, you can uninstall the uh, older version of the mod, delete it, and then install the newer version of the mod. So it's really that simple. Um, I do recommend checking out this mod, the Grants Texture Improvement Project. Um, as nice as Dragon's Dogma looks on PC, it's not really totally up to par um, you know when compared to other modern PC games um, so mods like this are helping to to fix that um, so I highly recommend it as you can see it's only version point thirty so there's still you know a lot of work to be done until this mod really uh, works for the entire world in Dragon's Dogma but at least for now, some uh, towns and some areas around Grancis are looking really nice, higher res textures and whatnot. But anyway, so that's how we use uh, the Nexus Mod Manager. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Um, and uh, if you want a, a tutorial on anything specific, on another game that I had on my list like Skyrim or or fallout please let me know as well and thank you very much for watching have a nice day please subscribe and comment and like the video this is talk f signing off